Electric Studio, it's the Mike Zambelli Show. They are the three-time Centennial Conference defending champions. They are a perfect 9-0, 6-0, and poised to make it four in a row. We're talking about the Muhlenberg ladies basketball team. Head coach Ron Roan and a couple of their key players are in the house here this week. But first, here's this week's edition of I've Got News. Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz left Sunday's game against the Rams with a knee injury and it's been confirmed that he tore his ACL and will be out for the remainder of the season. There is absolutely no good spin to this for the Eagles. They had an MVP favorite in the game's most important position and now they don't. Wentz grew up leaps and bounds this season after an uneven rookie campaign and looked to be every bit the superstar the Eagles imagined when they traded up to grab the North Dakota State product with the second overall pick in the 2016 draft. The only positive thing perhaps is that Wentz was on the field long enough for the Eagles to go 11-2, and clinch the NFC East title. Only time will tell if Nick Foles can finish. What went started? Eagles fans, fear not. Nick Foles can get the job done. We'll see how it plays out. Moving along, the 2018 Golden Globe nominations came out this morning. The Shape of Walter, three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, and Steven Spielberg's The Post all received the multiple nominations while streaming and cable giants dominated the television side of the nominations, in particular HBO's Game of Thorns, which if you haven't seen yet, call us here at Service Elect at service electric uh, right here on uh, you can see it on hbo so you can catch up before the last season that is the game of thrones thank you very much guys and finally two years ago the ending of uh, star wars the force awakens left us all with a lot of questions and one of them was simply uh, as how good will be the follow-up will the follow-up be Saturday night Star Wars the last Jedi premiered providing the cast crew fans and critics with an answer and so far it seems overwhelmingly positive most of my crew will be seeing it on his premiere this coming Thursday night so I'm sure I'll hear about it on uh, Friday sir you know all about these things right that's what I thought. Now, let's talk now with our returning musical guest, Erin Kelly. Are you a Star Wars fan the way your cousin is? No, I've not actually. At all. Not I don't at all. think I've ever that seen Star Wars. That was all great to you, what I was reading there as well, right? <laughs> yeah. So we're on the same board. Pleased to be joined by Erin Kelly. Erin, great to see you again. I guess the first thing is happy birthday. Celebrated a birthday December 1st. Yeah, I did. <laughs> What's new in your world? You're keeping busy. I was on your website. Yeah, always got shows going on. It's always uh, crazy during the Christmas season, you know. Recently appeared on Music Monday on WFMZ TV. That was very actually, exciting. Yeah, I did that last year. That was last that, yeah, year. Okay, yeah. so I was a little bit behind. That was very exciting, though. Yeah, I always love performing there. It's always fun. What is new for you? I know you have some performances coming up here locally in the Lehigh Valley. I do. Um, I'm actually going to be at the Shelby this Friday. Um, I'm going to be at the Hamilton on the 23rd. Oh, and I also forgot to mention um, I'm going to be on 99.9 The Hawk tomorrow mm -hmm. uh, performing some Christmas tunes, so that should be fun. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. Uh, Aaron. of course, for our viewers, we saw her sing the national anthem. We were trying to figure it out. We're not sure whether she was three years old or five years old. The two year different, I don't think a big deal. <laughs> Aaron, you're going to sing some uh, holiday tunes for us. What do you like most about the Christmas holidays? Um, I, I just love, you know, being able to get together with family and, you know, uh, I always love the snow. <laughs> what are you going to start us off with? Um, let it snow. Speaking let of it snow. snow right? <laughs> oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh, it doesn't show signs of stopping, but I promise. Some corn for popping. All the lights have turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I hate going out in the storm. But if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. The fire is slowly dying in my dear. But as long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Candles burning low, lots 
and mistletoe Lots of snow and ice Everywhere we go Choir singing carols Right outside my door All these things and more, baby That's what Christmas means to me, my love oh, 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 oh. I see your smiling face Like I've never seen before Erin Kelly, music.com for her most up-to-date schedule. Erin, thank you very much. Ron Rowan, Sarah Dilley, our first half of the show. Uh, good day to both of you. Uh, Christmas season big coach. Are you a big Christmas guy? Yeah, I like Christmas. All like, the music. Yeah, uh, yeah. A little time off running around. Watch yeah. a lot of basketball on my I, couch. I heard you better like the music. You played it, tried to try to practice one day. It didn't yeah, work out. Yeah, you know, so. one of our players, Chelsea Gary, she, we like to play <laughs> ma uh, music during practice. And uh, the other day she pulled out a whole uh, Christmas selection, which was uh, interesting. Thing running fast breaks to Christmas music, but uh, <laughs> but our kids enjoyed it. Coach nine and oh six and oh Centennial Conference, congratulations! Uh, that comes with everybody gunning for you guys. Uh, I know you expected to be in this kind of a position heading into the holiday break. Your thoughts on the year? Yeah, I think our team's handled it very well. You know, sometimes when you get everybody's best game and everybody's pumped mm -hmm. up to play you, uh, it can wear you down. But I think our kids have embraced it. Uh, you know, everybody on this team is. Uh, has a common goal, and that's a team goal, win another championship, especially for our, our four seniors. And uh, I, I've been very happy. We've, we've had probably uh, uh, several close games uh, in the past week, which that's is really thing, right. You want to get tested, Yeah, it's right? really hardened us up to uh, mm -hmm. for, for those tough games in the future. I was a little worried if after uh, the Moravian game, we had three or four blowouts, and I was afraid we'd lose our edge. But uh, the past three games uh, definitely sharpened us back up. One of your players joining us here, uh, Junior uh, Sarah Dilly. Sarah, happy, uh, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas big, to you. Big into the holiday season. You like Christmas time of the year? Who doesn't love presents, right? That's <laughs> <laughs> for sure. You made a comment, uh, Coach mentioned the four seniors. You made a comment they're unstoppable. Talk about these four seniors and what they have meant to the Muhlenberg program. We're going to meet three of them coming up in the second part of our uh, segment, by the way. Yeah, the seniors are awesome. All four of them, they show up every day to practice and <clears throat> playing against them every day makes the rest of the team better and when they do well on the court we're all so excited cheering for them and they're really just awesome to watch, awesome to root for um, and yeah, I think they are pretty unstoppable. What they're great. What attracted you to Muhlenberg College? Um, so Coach Ron started to recruit me when I was playing AU and I went on campus, he toured me around, I met some of the girls on the team mm -hmm. and I just had a really good vibe. You know, a, lot of, a, lot, a lot of youngsters say that when I ask them that question. <laughs> there is something that you just get a good feel about, and it certainly has worked out well for you now in your junior Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, you attended Governor Livingston High School. That's in yeah. Berkeley Heights, uh, New Jersey. You also played soccer. Was there ever a thought of playing soccer on the collegiate level? Um, I think I actually asked Coach Rowan if any <laughs> of the girls ever played two sports at once. Um, <laughs> But basketball is definitely like the sport that I love more growing up. Soccer was more just for fun. How about uh, how about your uh, family, brothers and sisters? I have a twin brother. Um, he played baseball, mm -hmm. and my two older sisters both played uh, lacrosse and basketball. How uh, difficult! Basketball. I know we were chatting a little bit about it, but uh, you have a twin brother. Obviously, yeah. there's a bond there that none of us can understand. How uh, emotional was it for him to go his way? Where'd you say he's in Florida? Yeah, he's at the University of Tampa. Mm -hmm. um, he Still loves it down baseball? there. No, no, not playing baseball, but. Uh, Doing a lot of other fun things, hanging out at the pool most of the time, so uh, uh -huh. <laughs> no snow for him. <laughs> a, little, a little warmer weather than what we're having Absolutely. here. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. Talk about the start to the year. Yeah, and you know, in that 6-0 and league start, you have a win over Haverford that won the regular season last year, and you also won on the road at Johns Hopkins. Those are two big, um, I mean, not that you guys need more confidence, but they're confidence-building wins. Oh, absolutely. Um, Hopkins and Haverford are both very good teams. Even our sinus gave us a really good game. Um, and like Coach said, playing in those tough games will definitely help us later on in the postseason mm -hmm. and keep us sharp, keep us honest, and make us keep working hard. 
Coach Rohn, you've uh, been on kind of a, a, a real coaching journey, if you will. You're a graduate of Easton High School, went to Fordham, uh, graduated in uh, 1982, but you were head coach in, at Colgate. Uh, yeah, why the women's game? How did you get involved? You played high school and college basketball, but yeah. how did you get involved in the yeah, women's game? I always liked athletics. I like sports. I went to Fordham actually to be a uh, communications major. Do your kind of job, yeah, and then this, yeah, that, exactly. And, and then I there. then I decided I uh, I liked answering the questions more than asking them. You know, at that age, I thought I was smarter than everybody else. Uh, I've learned as I got older, I'm probably not. Uh, but uh, one of my classmates in uh, in high school, uh, Shelly uh, Jacobs. Uh, to wind up coaching at Easton, oh, Shelly Jack Bartolacci, all-time great, mm -hmm. had uh, friends said, hey, when you go to Ford to meet my three friends, and first day I'm walking by the gym, and there's three girls in shorts and T-shirts with basketballs under their, under mm -hmm. their arms, mm -hmm. and uh, I was like, you wouldn't happen to be Maureen or Tree or Ramona, and that's who they were. Before you know it, I got involved with them and uh, said, hey, we need a manager for our team. So, hey, I love sports, so I decided to get involved being a manager. I didn't realize at the time in women's basketball that meant you were basically the first assistant coach because uh, there wasn't much funding for women's sports. And the team was outstanding, and like anything, you get involved. And uh, I went from being a, a baseball player to a basketball coach mm -hmm. uh, over the years and working with people like Pat Fisher at – uh, Lafayette College. And, pioneer uh, in the sport. Yeah. I mean, people forget the days when uh, we coached, uh, when I was at Lafayette, we were coaching against Muffet McGraw over at Lehigh, mm -hmm. who was the head coach there. And, uh, you know, from there, moving on to other, other opportunities. And uh, like anything in life, you know, uh, the road leads you in a very strange and interesting direction sure does. as we move on. Eight times Centennial Conference champions, uh, two times Mid-Atlantic Regional Coach of the Year. As I mentioned, three straight Centennial Conference championships. Your coaching works. You were also a uh, Centennial Conference golf coach? Or, uh, yeah, I got yeah. coached. When I first came to uh, Muhlenberg, uh, one of my duties was to be women's golf coach. And I thought, that's great. You get to play a lot of free golf at Lehigh Country Club. That's you not know? a bad assignment. Not a, not a bad, bad deal. A bad I, found I, get, I got to play very little golf. I got to drive the vans around a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but that was sort of fun. But uh, yeah, we've been very successful, uh, mostly because I've had great players. People like Sarah who come in who are unselfish and, and play hard and want to win. And uh, just, just great people and great individuals. And I think Karen Character uh, carries you a long way in this sport. Yes, yeah, Sarah, biology major with a minor in uh, public health, uh, dean's list student. Is is that a competition amongst the players as well too? When the dean's list uh, comes out, that you want to see your name on there with your teammates? Sure, absolutely. Academic honor roll. Uh, you know, we got to keep that team GPA up. And it's all part yeah. of the equation at <laughs> Muhlenberg. Yeah, that's for sure. Coach, we're running out of time here. This goes so fast. I, we're going to meet three of your four seniors. What have they meant to your program? Uh, they've meant everything. I mean, that those four seniors, not just what they've done on the court, but off the court, the kind of people they are. Uh, I have just enjoyed coaching them so much. They're great people. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, you know, a lot of people are like, hey, you've won three championships. We're going for a fourth consecutive one this year. And uh, I think I probably feel that pressure more than anybody else yeah, of trying sure. to get them to where they want to go because uh, they get to do something. Uh, if they win a championship this year, a record nobody could ever beat because I don't think you can win five championships. No, you can't. I don't know how you <laughs> can do that. Coach, I want to thank you for taking the time. Sarah Dilly, wish you the very best thank and a you. Merry Christmas to you. We'll meet three of those four seniors. Christina Manning, Chelsea Gray, and Brandy Vallely are coming up next. But first, Aaron Kelly to send us to break. What's, uh, what's the number this time, Aaron? Um, this one's called All I Want for Christmas is You. Enjoy. Walking in a winter 
ErinKellyMusic.com for her most up-to-date scheduling. She'll be at the Shelby Restaurant in Allentown Friday, December 15th at 8.30. Right here with us are the three of the four seniors, uh, Christina Manning, Brandy Vallely, Chelsea Gary. Uh, ladies, how did we not get Rachel Plotke out of doing an exam here today? <laughs> We she left her hanging. <laughs> she snuck out. Huh? Christina, let me start with you. First of all, congratulations. It's, it's amazing how fast uh, yeah. four years of college Flies goes. By. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it sure does. 9-0 and starts, 6-0 and in the conference. What's it like to be the one that everybody gives you their best game plan, their best, uh, their best effort on a nightly basis? Uh, it's a lot of pressure. But, mm -hmm. um, it obviously, Rather have it that way, though, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely pushes us so we can be better, makes us work harder. Just a lot of expectations. Come from Cardinal O'Hara in Philadelphia. How did playing at Cardinal O'Hara, tough Philadelphia Catholic yeah, League, how did that help league. prepare you for college? Yeah. Um, I think the competition really helps me. It was a pretty competitive league, um, and as so was the Centennial Conference. So. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Congratulations, Brandy Vallely. The list of accomplishments for you, young lady, just outstanding. Congratulations on that. And uh, senior year, it does happen in a hurry, doesn't it? Yeah. For real. What was it like your freshman year? You come out of a nice program by uh, Ole Valley High School. You were the school's all-time leading scorer, over 1,500 career points. But now you're a role player. Now you're not playing a lot of minutes. You're basically a scout team player. How does that work out for you? Freshman year? Yes. Um, well, I ended up uh, breaking my foot freshman year, so I got to play so a few games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, it was really cool to practice against um, that team, like with Hannah Rush, Lena Talame. Like They were just really good role models, mm -hmm. and I think that's why us seniors – um, can play the way we can because we played against such a good team. Yeah, what did you learn from them that helps you now as the senior leaders of the program? I guess just to stay calm and just, as coach would say, like run your stuff. Um, he gives us all the things we need to do to win, and um, just doing that, we can do it. Brandy, folks, uh, among the nation's leaders, four, 542 career assists. That is third most of any individual in any level of college basketball, whether it be Division I, Division II. She currently holds six school records uh, here at Muhlenberg. Brandy, did you envision this kind of success when you signed up to come to Muhlenberg? Uh, no, not at all. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wanted to come here because I really liked the environment. Like Sarah said, the vibe was good. Mm -hmm. um, and then with basketball, it was just trying to have fun. Yeah, you guys having a lot of fun winning three championship. Uh, Chelsea, Gary, uh, you certainly didn't need a GPS coming from Nazareth. You chose to stay in the Lehigh Valley. Why did you stay? Why did you decide to stay close to home? Um, I really liked the school, and it was an added bonus that I could go home if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. It's far enough away where I feel like I'm at school, but it's still an added convenience. Yeah, for sure. Mom, uh, you shared with me the principal at Nazareth High School. That keeps you in line when you're in school, huh? Yeah. Great. Grades are kind of important then when you come home, I guess. Yeah, she yeah. definitely kept us in line, and she was a great mom growing up, great role model. Yeah, talk about the other three seniors when you first got on the campus at Muhlenberg. What was that like? How do you get to learn one another, and uh, you know, how do you start to grow and develop not only as a, a as a basketball teammate, but as a student at Muhlenberg College? Um, I think because we spent so much time together, really from the beginning of freshman year. I mean, with basketball and off the court, you really get to understand each other and get to know each other well. Mm -hmm. And then on the basketball court, just with playing with one another these past four years, we know the ins and outs and like how everyone plays and how to bring out the best in each other. So I think that's been awesome. Product of the East Penn Conference, where the, the the talent pool is quite deep. How did that help you prepare for college basketball? Yeah, every day um, when I was in high school, when we'd play like the Parklands and the Emmaus, it was really mm -hmm. tough competition and really helped get me ready for college. So that was cool. I used it when we did your game against Moravian. I have to ask you, you're a tremendous free throw shooter right now. An area <laughs> of your game you struggled with in high school. How did what what was that process to make yourself a better free throw shooter? Um, I mean. If you ask Rachel Plotke, she doesn't miss free throws, so she's always a good uh, role model to look up to. But it's so all she kind of pushed it in to yeah. get it better. Um, foul shooting is like all mental. I mean, you have, you're standing there and it's, it's your time to take the shot. You have mm -hmm. 10 seconds, so it's really just having the confidence that you know you're going to make it. 
Mm -hmm. Three times on the deed list, your major is finance uh, and business administration, and I understand you are lined up with a job already. Tell us about it. Yeah, um, in July I'll be uh, starting at J.P. Morgan Chase as a financial analyst, so mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it. You excited about it? Yeah. It's what'll happen? Be... What'll happen with a basketball career? Then will you? Well, how, will you keep that, how will you keep that going? Um, I mean, I'll, I'll try to stay active. One of my uh, old alumni um, teammates. Christina mm -hmm. Santone is also working there, um, a former forward, so maybe we could play together. <laughs> a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of networking, and then it goes on for, mm -hmm. for Mueller. Yeah, you served as an internship and came home with a job, huh? Yeah, it That's, was an added bonus. I mean, yeah. to start the senior year with a job, it made everything that much better and easier. Sure, that makes mom and dad happy. Brandy, how about for you? What are you looking forward to after graduation? <laughs> um, hopefully find a job. Mm -hmm. um, that's the Communications goal. major, right? And marketing. And yeah. marketing. So okay. we'll see. Hopefully something mm -hmm. comes along. Okay. <laughs> Christina, you're next in line. Same with me. Hopefully yeah, same, I have a job. <laughs> what, 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 have you, what are you going to miss most about Muhlenberg College, Christina? Um, probably being part of the team. Mm -hmm. um, some of these girls are one of my best friends, and um, just the memories are going to be hard to leave behind. Yeah. But. Um, Brothers and sisters, what's your I family? Do. I yeah. have uh, two older sisters. Basketball players? Yep, yeah. Both. One good ones, both good ones? Yeah. My oldest sister played at Lafayette. My middle sister played at King's College. Mm -hmm. So no normal pickup games in the backyard no. in your house. <laughs> no. Right? no. Brandy, how about you? Brothers and sisters? Two older sisters as well. Um, one played soccer and one ran cross country. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are you going to miss most about Muhlenberg College and the, the other three seniors, obviously, that you've really forged a bond with? Yeah, probably the same thing. Uh, same thing Christina said, like the memories, um, just having your friends like so close, like living with them mm -hmm. and then going back and not really having that anymore. Like, as I mentioned, uh, you know, the other thing, uh, five career triple doubles, which is tied for the most in all of NCAA college basketball. What do you enjoy most? I mean, are you, do you get more excited for an assist for a teammate or scoring yourself or it's just something that flows <laughs> within the game? Definitely, I think, in college, the assists, because it's so nice. My teammates it's easy don't, to make friends they don't when miss. You. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real, like, that's how I get all like these assist things. My teammates don't miss, so it's more them than me, really. You have a couple of good uh, non-league games coming up, I guess, uh, against Elizabethtown, and then at the sales, uh, then heading into the, the new year. What, uh, what areas do you need to improve on, or is it just business as usual and just keep refining what you're doing well? I think we just got to keep playing the way we are. Um, our defense is getting better, I think, every game. Um, I think if we come to play, we'll be able to hold our own. Mm -hmm. Are you big into, big into the holidays? Is your Christmas shopping done yet? <laughs> Not yet. Got to work on that. <laughs> Chelsea, how about for you? Christmas I haven't started. Yeah. I haven't started yet. No. Huh? You're going to make some time for it. Though. What, yeah. what does your schedule look like now? I mentioned you have a game Saturday. You have one next Tuesday. What kind of break will you get over the holidays now? Um, after we play to sales next week, we have off until January 1st. Mm -hmm. So we have a little bit of time off. Do you want time off? Or sometimes when it's going like this, you don't want the. I mean, it could be a good or bad thing. It's it's definitely weird having so much free time over break. I mean, you spend time with your family, but you feel like you should have practice every day or something. <laughs> yeah, 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 for, for sure. Christina, for you, how will you spend that, uh, that free time? Um, probably catching up on some sleep mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. definitely working out and, you know, playing basketball. Yeah, so Keep Brandy, and for yourself, a uh, little time at home? Yeah, definitely just want to spend time with family, relax, eat some good food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ron Rowan has done a great job as head coach. What is it about Coach Rowan that you feel, Christine, I'll start with you, that has allowed him to be so, so successful here at Muhlenberg College? Um, I mean, he obviously knows what he's doing. Um, he's giving us all the skills. You have to be nice just because he's watching <laughs> now. The, the honest answers. I mean, he's, he's hard on us, but uh, he pushes us. He knows what we can do, and he has faith in us that we can get this fourth championship. Brandy, same uh, same question. Uh, same sort of thing. Um, I just think he has a lot of confidence in us, even when we don't, mm -hmm. especially like sophomore year. Mm -hmm. um, and that carried through the past couple of years. Even when we think we weren't really good, he always mm -hmm. like believed in us. Yeah, Chelsea, same same kind of thought. Yeah, same things that Christina and Brandy said, but also he always knows how to play this to the strengths of his players. So each year he really brings out the best in us, and he just knows what he's doing and goes for the win. Pretty awesome, Chelsea, Gary, Brandy, Vallely, Christina Manning, three of the four seniors, Rachel Plotke, the fourth ladies. Congratulations on a terrific run. You know this isn't going to come easy, but good luck in pursuit of number four. Thank you. Now they'll try to make it a perfect four for four. As I mentioned, uh, you can catch up on their schedule, visit their website. These young ladies are uh, uh, quite a nice act to follow. We had a chance to see them in a win earlier in the year against a very good Moravian team. They'll be at the sales next Tuesday. Muhlenberg Women's Basketball. 
basketball team in quest of their fourth consecutive Centennial Conference Championship. Aaron Kelly, uh, you never, you were always with the music, right? No, uh, no sports for you, right? Um, actually, when I was younger, I played a lot of sports because um, my mom was actually a professional racquetball player. I don't know if you knew that. Um, I did know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And, uh -huh. uh, so obviously, how are you? Know, are you good at? Are you good at racquetball? Um, I'm half to, not as good as her, okay. but I, I can compete with her in pickleball. That's, well, uh, that's, that's key. That's <laughs> yep. key. Fun sport. That's key. You excited about the holidays? Are you ready for it? Did you do your Christmas shopping? Uh, yep, I did. <laughs> My brother kind of like, you know, likes to do all the shopping ahead mm -hmm. of time and we're kind of, you know, combining on gifts this year, like, you know, both chipping in. So I'm ready. <laughs> that's awesome, Marion. You know, what a treat it is for us to have you here. Uh, thanks for joining us again. Yeah, and have a very Merry me. Christmas. You too. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it for this week's show. We'll see you next week on the Mike Zambelli Show. Enjoy Aaron Kelly. It's creepy.